Today's video blog is brought to you by Red Bull, the energy drink that gives you wings. <laughs> Good morning. My friends are always taking a piss to me because I drink lots of Red Bull. I like caffeine. I this right. This is me with caffeine. Da, 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 da. This is me without caffeine. Uh, so you know, I, I drink a lot of Red Bull. What can I say? Here's one right now. Here's one I made earlier. So today, it's back day. It's uh, it's Saturday. Hooray! It's the weekend. And um, and Coach Sammy, Sammy Gaines, Sammy Bradley, is um, uh, is meeting me at the gym. She's coming to do a PT session this morning. And uh, and I have my GoPro, so we're going to be recording a couple of couple of movements, recording some sweat flying around because that would be nice. We all like a bit of sweat. <laughs> Sorry, and. Um, Yes, that's going to happen. Now I haven't got, um, I haven't waited for a few days. I've been, um, I mean, when I first started this, I was waiting every, you know, five minutes. But um, I'm trying to sort of get less obsessed with the scales now. I know things are moving. I know it's working. So I don't really feel I need to weigh every day. I've achieved that 90 day goal, so I'm just going back to weekly, so I'll be weighing in tomorrow. And uh, things are going well, my clothes are feeling looser, I'm, I'm accepting the fact that sometimes I'm going to be <laughs> miserable like I was last week, and uh, you know, but and, 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 and look, I, I preach this to other people. And even when you know this, okay, it doesn't always help. But science is on our side when we're trying to lose weight. That simple thing that you've heard so many times of eat less, do more, you will lose weight. Now that's not some, you know, um, crazy idea. That's very, very simple science. It's, 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 it's all about energy. It's as simple as that. Eat less, do more, the weight will go off. You'll stop storing fat. However, we store water, we consume energy at different rates, depending on, oh gosh, so many factors. The, the mood <laughs> that we're in, the, the weather seems to change it. It's not, as a friend of mine said on Facebook, weight loss is non-linear. So many factors can change the pace that we lose weight. And some weeks you, you're not going to lose, other weeks you might even gain. You're probably not gaining fat, it's just water retention, it's just the way fluids stay in your system. We're biological, squishy, fleshy, smelly, grubby machines. We're not digital, we're not, we're not like on and off, so, you know, um, you can't turn us off and on again just to fix it. So that's going to happen. And but it, however, even knowing all that, and even knowing that we're really better looking at month to month rather than week to week, day to day, hour to hour for our weight loss. Even knowing that, it still sucks if you don't lose weight in a in a week or when you expect to, and then you're depressed and oh my god, I'm going to die! I can't lose weight. This is awful. Happens. All been there. <laughs> We've all been on the Domino's depression hotline the moment, you know, the, the wheels fall off. The reality is, unless you really go bonkers, even if you have some a bad day or a bad couple of days, and you, even if you eat the triple, the, the triple super meat lardomatic deluxe, you're probably not going to blow your diet. It'll just you, you have a few few bad days, but you'll fix it again in a, a few days later. So, don't kill yourself when that happens. Don't let the wheels fall off. Don't destroy yourself. Stick a pin in it and get back on the wagon. And and 
of all the things that I have failed at, it's been that very advice. I've, I've yo-yo dieted so much because I've done very well for a few weeks, as I'm sure everybody has. You have a bad weekend, a, a moment of weakness, or a moment of just living, because sometimes dieting just sucks. And then you stop dieting. You have that one or two bad days, and you think, screw it, and you throw in the towel, and then a week or two later, you're back to where you started. So don't do that. Accept that sometimes it's gonna suck, sometimes you're gonna not do so well, you're gonna well, fail short term, you're gonna not meet your goals, but get straight back on it. It seems to work, and it seems to work for everybody in, in the, the fitness group that I'm in. It's um, just get back on. Accept that a few times of the year you're gonna be a bit rubbish. Well, that was awfully preachy. I felt like I was talking there forever. This is going to be a long video, isn't it? It's true what I said about knowing all the facts, though. I'm, I'm pretty good at, you know, sciencey things. I understand how the, you know, the fundamental laws of, of energy <laughs> work. But even when you know, when you get on the scale and you haven't seen the loss you're expecting, it's like a punch in the face. That, that doesn't change. And I think, I think everyone knows inside. I think sometimes we tend to fall off the wagon. Not so much that we've lost faith in the plan, because we know basic science works. We all know the sun's going to come up in the morning and, you know. It's just that you, you lose faith in yourself. You lose faith. I, I know I do. I stop believing that I can do it. I stop believing that... I'm going to get into that bikini and get up on stage. I stop believing that, that this time I'm going to do it because, well, I failed so many times before, so you, you just start to doubt yourself. I do. Maybe we all do. I don't know. Well, right then. So, hooray! Back to cheerfulness. We're at the gym. It's a beautiful sunny morning. Sun is shining. The birds are well, eating rubbish actually, but you know, they would be chirping if they weren't busy eating other people's rubbish. Let's go and get sweaty. Oh, I started to think Sammy wasn't here and maybe, maybe, just maybe I was going to dodge a bullet and I wasn't going to get my ass kicked. But there's Sammy's car. She's about to come to kick my arse and now somebody has stolen my space. This over here, I don't know if you can see over here, I'm going to pull up alongside. So that there, that is actually, that's, so I guess I've got two PTs approaching, two, two personal trainers approaching right here, and I'm going to introduce you both. This is Kelly, who's a, uh, off, so I've got, we've got two, two Welsh bodybuilders approaching the car, this is a rare sighting Hi. boys and girls. Hi. This is Kelly, and here's Sammy, my coach. So look at this, look at this. Hello. It's like a flock of coaches oh, yeah. all coming up to see us. So, um, How are you doing? I'm very well. So right then, I'm going to go and get sweaty with these two reprobates. I'm and going to kill her. Yeah, I'm gonna, I am going to die. So I'll see you guys in a bit. No, I won't. You, uh, fuck it. See you again. Bye. I don't know what Sammy's up to there. But we're doing back at the moment. And, uh, and Sammy's doing things. So um, it's, it's going to hurt. That's, that's, that's a given. Yeah. Uh, was on my best side. I was on my best side. Have I really got a best side? I don't know. Right under a nice um, fluorescent strip light. Yeah, I see, because that's very the, complimentary. That's the best light of all, <laughs> right there. <laughs> and I come over here in the shadow. Now that that's been pointed out. What are you doing, Sammy? So we're gonna be doing wrap clothes first. We're gonna do our head and compound movements first. Rock balls. Heavy first, and then we're going to more isolation work. I don't know what they are, but we're going to find out in a moment. Sammy has sweaty hands. It's just been revealed. You heard it here first, boys and girls. Yeah. Okay. 
Bouncing off the rack, strip, rest, pause, lift. And we're going heavier, much, much heavier. It's getting kind of heavy now. We've just doubled it. Double the weight? Double from 60 to 120. See, so weightlifting is also handy to know some maths. Just about to put a gold pose. I can't, I can't actually see what I'm recording, so I'm just hoping for the best here. But it is very wide, so I think it even works when it's over there. I'm just, I'm just looking at the camera and randomly saying one of the words you say. Let it really take you that full stretch of your lat up, right? Well done. Is it too light or are you alright? Okay. Keep it going then. We might up it for the next one. Slow the return back up, right? That's it. And that's it. Let that full stretch happen. Brilliant. Perfect form. Good. Perfect form. I love the way you can feel your muscles and back all yeah. like slotting into place. Yeah. I love the, I love human mechanics, it's amazing. So what's next, Sammy? I think we're gonna do dumbbell rack pulls now. Obviously single arm. For a bit more isolation uh, and heavy. Isolation. I'm just gonna randomly say words <laughs> with Sammy and repeat the one word. And heavy or Isolation and heavy. Today's words are brought to you by Isolation Heavy and Red Bull. <laughs> They're on a Smith machine. Like. Good squats. Too light. Oh, even Claire's getting it, look. Honestly, that sucks. And I, I don't mean like in, 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 in the worst way. <laughs> That's Claire, my bestie. Well, then let's see what Sam's up to. That was fun to watch, but that was my turn. <laughs> no, it was so fun, Pat. Oh. Four. No, I got it. You'll be right on 20. Thanks, sir. So, slow that um, descent down. Power it up. Need to go heavier. Definitely need heavier. Your elbow in, shave your side. Slow at the centre. Back 
nice and straight, which it is. I can see you in the mirror. I don't know what's going on over there. I don't know what that is. See, PT makes you do mad shit like that. <laughs> I don't even know what that is. Look, what is doing? What's that then, Kelly? What are we doing there? Everything's right. Support for a bad back is absolutely perfect. Yeah. So you go for your bad back. Do that. Do that. Sure. <laughs> so cables. Have a little sit down. Remember that, that allow that full stretch. Is it? This is stirring. Good, Danielle. Full stretch. Good. And sit up slightly taller. That's it. Good. Good, Danielle. It's good form. That's it. Ah, look. Still at it. But you know what I was saying about doing PT? This is it, you know. You have a good instructor. I push you far harder than you push yourself usually. You find new limits, you know. <sighs> it's also good to train with people who are machines because you learn so much. Yeah. We're getting creative now because there's no deep end. Change your plan. That's new. So, like, kind of step back. That's it. Step back, yes. There, and now. Yeah. Get a full stretch back up and just bring it all in the lap. It. You touch me. Towards me, that's it. Do you feel it, Danielle? Or? Yeah. Yeah? It's quite challenging with the two cables. It's forcing you to be even in it. Which is probably good. Oh. I'm going over here. Claire's on the worst machine in the gym. Look at this. That sucks so much. Ah! Oh, the Jacob's Ladder. Sit. Claire's come over all metal. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to back up here with Sammy. No. Three, four, go to twenty. 
Well then, wasn't that fun? <laughs> Back and some abs. Oof. So that's why I was saying, you know, um, train with with a friend or get a coach. Somebody. Um, so I've got so Sammy. Uh, you saw was coaching me, um, and then you saw Claire and Kelly training together. Um, it, it's really good if you know someone that trains hard or you can hire a coach then really get help to you know push your limits you um and you're gonna train you're gonna train with somebody every time in fact one of the things that's held me up in, in the past was always wanting to train with somebody and then what happens is they stop coming and because everyone's everybody everybody wants to train next week Everyone's going to start, I'll start now. I'll go on my diet now, Monday. Everyone does that. And nobody ever does. Man, that, that day never starts. So get used to training on your own. But also, dip in with training with a friend, train with a coach. Because you'll push each other's limits. You'll just, you'll just, you know, you'll do things. You'll go somewhere. You'll go to that dark place that you, you, you possibly won't push yourself to on your own. So, um, yeah, do that. And it's nice. Today, I was actually looking at myself in the mirror, because, you know. And um, I'm starting to see areas. My shoulders are starting to have some shape in them. My, my stomach's starting. It's, it's, uh, I use the term flatter in its loosest possible tense. But it's, it, there's less of it. Um, my boobs are now slightly more prominent than my, than my belly. So, and, and a coach or a training partner will spot that too because you're when you're watching somebody else training you're looking at, at, at how their body moves so you, you'll spot things so there you go that's my advice train with someone oh, that was good <laughs> so tired but forgot to record it on my watch so no idea how many calories I've just burned but I reckon about a million so it's fair than I so that was a gym session. That's what, a, that's what my back routine is like with Sammy. A bit of coach.